App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. We are wrapping up a pretty nice October weekend. It just didn't feel like a thing like October, and here's why. And we've got another warm one tonight. Last night, we only went into the upper 60s. Tonight, we'll only go into the upper 60s, and our highs have been well into the 80s, not too far from record highs. We have been dry, though, seen plenty of sunshine, and you do have a dry Monday morning drive uh, in store for you tomorrow. But take some rain gear with you, because showers and storms are are going to be moving in from the west for our Monday afternoon and into uh, early Monday evening. Those will come with a marginal, which is a level one, to slight level two up in our northwestern counties, risk for severe storms tomorrow. So we're going to be watching that closely for you during the day tomorrow. We'll get a break from the rain and storm chances Tuesday, but then some rain chances return Wednesday, small ones, and then it looks like they are going to peak again for us on Friday. But there's a quiet live first warning Doppler radar right now, like it has been all weekend. Again, it will stay that way for tonight and tomorrow morning, but then by the afternoon, showers and storms are going to move in from the west. A quick look at the uh, twin bridges there from uh, our Ellis Park Tower Cam between Evansville and Henderson, and our Superior Ag Tower Cam looking over the Lloyd Expressway toward West Franklin Street. We watched this all last week. Of course, uh, Fall Festival wrapped up about this time last night. They cleaned it all up today, and West Franklin is now back to normal. It's a warm one out there, 75 degrees and it's a little muggy too with that dew point at 64. Little breeze right now out of the south, but be ready for that wind to be stronger and gustier tomorrow. We may have some wind gust at times over 30 miles per hour. Outside of any thunderstorms and in some thunderstorms, we could have some stronger winds than that. So temperatures right now, have just settled into the 70s, and we're not going to drop much more. Upper 60s to around 70, that's it tonight uh, for overnight lows. Skies are still clear right now, and you can look back here to our west. That's where our system is uh, for tomorrow right now. A couple of tornado watch boxes down here in parts of uh, Oklahoma, down into Texas around the Dallas area. And again, this is coming into the tri-state tomorrow, and it will bring us at least some threat uh, for some severe weather. So we're going to watch that closely. Let's time out those storms right now on an updated future tracker. Overnight, we will begin to see some mid and high level clouds coming in. So we will turn at least partly cloudy by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. That will stop our temperatures from dropping even more. And then during the day tomorrow, I do think we'll see some sun kind of mix in with the clouds in the morning. By noon, though, we've got a few scattered showers and storms into our southern Illinois counties. And then afternoon, Noon, those push farther to the east, getting into uh, the Evansville metro area by 3 tomorrow afternoon. And then shifting off to the east of Evansville late in the afternoon, early in the evening. So this is 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Most of it moving out of Evansville, but from Jasper to Owensboro and then down into our southeastern corner, we still have the showers and storms going. But then they quickly push to the east out of the tri state tomorrow evening. Skies start to clear out behind it, and we should get back to mostly sunny skies on your Tuesday. So here's the latest from the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow afternoon and early evening. Here's the level one marginal risk. It includes Evansville, points to the south and east, and then that higher level two slight risk for areas north and west of Evansville. We could see some damaging straight line winds, have some large hail, and an isolated tornado not out of the question with some of these storms if they get strong enough. And we will continue to watch that for you. Of course, we'll get another update from the SPC overnight, and Ron will have that for you on daybreak uh, tomorrow morning, and we'll keep an eye on it for you during the day tomorrow. But overnight tonight, it's quiet. It's just warm, partly cloudy, 65 to 70 the low. Then tomorrow, clouds increase. Showers and storms move in mainly in the afternoon, early evening. Windy in general, highs between 80 and 85 tomorrow. Those showers and storms end tomorrow evening. 
Sunshine back on Tuesday, a bit cooler, upper 70s, then back to the low 80s. Small rain chances Wednesday and Thursday, higher rain chances Friday, and then we dry out and cool down more for next weekend, which will feel like fall. Highs in the upper 60s. Noah? Already looking forward to it, Stacy. Thanks so much. Still ahead here tonight, police in Minnesota say they've arrested three men after a shooting left one person dead and 14 others hurt. You're watching Eyewitness News at 10. Stay with us.